Since Captain Marvel is hitting theaters this weekend, I am ranking each individual phase inside the MCU. There are three phases. Yesterday I ranked phase one. You can find that right above my head. And today I'm ranking phase two and there are six movies in phase two. So I'm ranking all six of these movies from the worst to the best in under six minutes. Let's get it. <laughs> Disclaimer, I don't hate any of these movies. I actually really enjoy all of these inside Phase 2. I didn't think it would be this hard, but it is. I got my list. Comment your list down below. Let me know how your list rank, how your movies rank, what do you think of the movies. And we're getting started here right at number 6. And in last place is going to be Thor The Dark World. And my big, big problem with this movie is just the villain. I haven't seen this movie in probably two years, and it's just one I don't want to rewatch because the villain is just so unmemorable. And we also have the love story between Thor and Jane carrying on in this movie and it's a love story you just don't really care about it seems like the love story is kind of just thrown in there the one thing I really enjoy about this movie is they have some amazing action and the emotional tie at the end of the movie when Loki dies and Thor is crying they have that brother bond we find out Loki's just a sneaky guy and he doesn't die but that bond at the end of the movie has really emotional tie -in. but where the movie really lacks for me is the villain and the love story that no one really cares about Coming in at number five is going to be Iron Man 3. And again, I don't hate this movie. Just again, the villain, I get he's coming back from Revenge from 1999 when Tony Stark dissed him and he's coming back. I'm a big successful guy now. But again, you just don't really care. And we have some really good humor in there. We have a kid who's making a fantastic, I guess, cameo in it. Really amazing side character. We have the Iron Patriots where he gets his name. In the end, fight scene. Pepper Potts looks like she's gonna die. She falls into fire, but then she gets his firepower. She never used again in the MCU, by the way. Maybe an end game is coming. But fight scene is where it gets me. All of the suits are coming out into play. And it's like 30 Iron Men, basically, coming around fighting. And it's just a really fun time. And it makes the movie really as a whole enjoyable because the ending is just so fantastic. It makes the movie really enjoyable for me to watch. But at number four is going to be Ant-Man. And what I love the most about this movie is the cast. Paul Rudd and Michael Pena, Michael Douglas, all of them are just great. But Michael Pena really steals this movie as well as he does Ant-Man and the Wasp. His character is just hilarious. Paul Rudd is the perfect role for Scott Lang. And this movie was a lot different. They are thieves, robbers, and that's what the movie's based on. That's how Scott Lang gets the suit is he robs it. He robs these people and takes the suit. That's how he becomes kind of Ant-Man. And it is just absolutely crazy that the MCU has a superhero by a guy who steals a suit. That's why I really enjoy this movie. The humor is great. The superhero Ant-Man is fantastic. And all in all, this movie is just really enjoyable with a great set of characters. Coming in number three is going to be Avengers Age of Ultron. And this movie has a ton of action from right when the movie starts. The first five, ten minutes has an amazing action sequence. We get introduced to two amazing characters right away with Scarlet Witch and her brother Quicksilver. And it is just awesome. They have a really big role in this movie. And the action is fantastic. And we have an amazing fight scene between Hulk and the Hulk Buster, the big Iron Man suit, and it is a funny yet amazingly awesome scene that no one knew we wanted, but when we got it, we absolutely needed it. But my biggest problem with this movie is Ultron seemed like a filler villain to me, and I get this movie really sets up for the Sokovia Accords in the later movies, but Ultron himself just wasn't that exciting of a villain to me. That's my only big problem with the movie. Everything else is fine, good action, amazing humor, and the Avengers are back together. Just that the villain, again, just wasn't that great in this movie. Hunter Up is gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy. It's one of my favorite MCU movies. When it first came out, I was like, I have no idea what it's gonna bring. I didn't even see it in theaters. I was so skeptical about it when I saw it. I loved it instantly. I watch it probably five times a year. Just amazing. All these different set of characters. We had Chris Pratt, who only really been seen in Parks and Rec, and now he's coming here to be the lead. And we have an amazing set of characters. All these guys make almost like an Avengers team by themselves, but they are the Guardians of the Galaxy. With actually a really amazing villain in Ronin, who even defies Thanos, and he's after the Infinity Stones as well. Kind of the main focus for these later movies, and some amazing action again, and a great villain 
villain, but also this set of characters is the most likable bunch of the MCU. They all banter, they all have their chemistry, all have their different roles, and it is absolutely hilarious, and they all mesh together. They have unbelievable chemistry. But there is only room for one number one, and in first place is Captain America the Winter Soldier, and this movie is just amazing for the one reason is that Captain America goes blind when Bucky Barnes comes back and he sees him again. You're like, oh my god, my long lost friend, who is now not really my long lost friend. But this entire film has an amazing emotional impact on you because Steve Rogers is always about his family and his friends first. He's always trying to do the safety of them first. And that's what we see in this movie. And they have a crazy emotional tie in this movie with also some amazing action. And the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, is absolutely crazy. And this really leads on to Captain America Civil War and sets that movie up even nicer. So in first place is Captain America the Winter Soldier. Come your thoughts down below. How do these movies rank for you guys? Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And do me a favor, go see a movie and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!